Grace and peace to you, Metro D.C. Synod. I'm the Reverend Nicholas Forty, the priest and pastor of the Fort Church of St. Martin's Parish in Doswell, Virginia, and the ecumenical officer for the Episcopal Diocese of Virginia. I bring you greetings from my parish and from the Diocese of Virginia and from our bishops in the Diocese of Virginia, especially our ecclesiastical authority, the Right Reverend Susan Goff. As ecumenical officer for my diocese, I've had the great pleasure of hearing your bishop, Bishop Ortiz, preach a powerful sermon to the annual meeting of the Virginia Council of Churches back in the fall. And I've enjoyed getting to know and working with your own ecumenical officer, the Reverend Mark Brown, on the Virginia Lutheran Episcopal Joint Committee and on the Virginia Larkham, or Lutheran Anglican Roman Catholic United Methodist committee. I know that's a mouthful, that's why we call it Larkham. Now during 2020 and into 2021, we've all had to learn new skills and technology for our respective ministries, and we've all had to develop new strategies for accomplishing the work to which God calls us. And this is no less true for those ecumenical committees I just mentioned. In December, for example, the Virginia Larkham Committee held our first ever online conference, and to great success. Our guest speaker was a renowned Augustine scholar and author of the book, The Meaning of Protestant Theology, Luther Augustine and the Gospel that Gives Us Christ, Dr. Philip Carey. Dr. Carey presented on the topic of being formed by the gospel in a post-Christian age, and he drew heavily on Luther's understanding of the gospel for those talks. Now, those talks were not only informative, but also inspirational, and the whole conference was recorded, so you can find all the videos from the conference on the Larkham YouTube channel, or the Larkham Facebook page, or the Larkham website, by simply searching for Virginia Larkham on those platforms or on your preferred search engine. The Virginia Lutheran Episcopal Joint Committee has also continued to meet via Zoom throughout this past year. Our focus has been directed recently on the document that brought us together in the first place, Called to Common Mission, or CCM as we call it. This year marks the 20th anniversary of the implementation of Call to Common Mission. Back in 2001, after decades of discussion and dialogue, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America and the Episcopal Church produced this epical document and concordat, built upon a recognition of shared doctrinal commitments and traditions that stretch back to the Reformation and really back beyond that to the Church's more ancient past and grounded in the modern revival of the centrality of baptism for full Christian identity, CCM invited the ELCA and Tech on a journey of common mission into a future of ever deeper and more profound full communion. In these past 20 years, that invitation has been taken up slowly, and cautiously, and even so, as you all know, it was not always embraced with joy and approbation by everyone within each denomination. But now, two decades hence, those tensions seem largely resolved. A new problem arises. A generation in the church has arisen that knows not CCM and its invitation, or at least doesn't know it well. Some may even mistakenly see it as the answer to the call to common mission or the end of the journey to full communion rather than an invitation and a beginning, which is what it truly is. It's for these reasons that the Virginia Lutheran Episcopal Joint Committee feels that it's especially important to celebrate this anniversary and to hear from our respective bishops how we should further respond to the call and continue the journey. And so to that end, we're planning an event in the fall, perhaps in September, for both clergy and laity to come together and commemorate the anniversary of CCM. 
This event will be hybrid, both online and in person, and we hope that you will join us as we discern the next steps in the journey toward a more broadly and deeply implemented full communion in response to the call to common mission. Now, if you have any questions about CCM or the event or either of the committees I've mentioned, please feel free to contact me or Pastor Mark Brown. I thank you for inviting me to bring a word of greeting to your assembly, and I pray that it is a fruitful and joyful assembly. May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.